Greetings from the far off land of Heva. I'm excited to bring you another episode of Pokemon Ruby Destiny Life of the Guardians. So, yeah, you see me outside the uh, maze like game thing. Yeah, I've been here for a bit. I've been official, yes. Anyway, we need to go back to the Heva leak. That we can continue on with the event. And nobody's willing to talk to us, so let's walk more forward. Tyler, there you are. Well, hello there, Tyler. How's it going, Tyler? Tyler, thanks for showing up. Having you here means a lot. Enough. Let's discuss this problem now. Okay, then. As you all are aware of, this weird storm suddenly appeared out of nowhere along with the sunrise of a weird floating castle above the valley. Let's call this the negative storm. I, I like how there's one and then there's two on the other side, but anyway. A storm, that means the sealed power has awakened. Garantina. Garantina? I've heard that name from the legend a few people shared to me in Lustrosand Town. Garantina, I've heard that one too. Garantina possesses great evil. It's said that it to be sealed away in another dimension. Yes. However, somehow Garantina escaped his imprisonment. But in order for Garantina to be able to safely move in our world, it needs a vessel to use. Vessel? Yes, a vessel. Any living thing that Garantina could reach. But wait, I thought Garantina was sealed in the Lost Shadow Valley, right? So then, how can Garantina get a vessel? Yeah, I heard no living thing can survive there. Team Earth. Team Earth must have done something there. That reminds me, you. You're Tyler, right? You said you went there chasing after Team Earth? Could you share what you saw there with everyone else here? Tyler explains what happened to a Mitch Lost Shadow Valley again! What? Tyler, did you hit your head or something? I still can't believe what you're saying, Tyler. First and foremost, Garantina needs a vessel. Garantina, yeah, can control its chosen vessel, but you, you're here! <sighs> Forgive me to interrupt. But I flew around the castle and saw another Tyler up there, controlling this giant Pokemon. What? So then, how? You, s you say you sense a positive energy in the valley? That valley is only negative energy there. I like how there's one E missing from energy. But, what if you were saying is true, then? That energy must have been Shaman. Also, it called you its master? Shaman, calling you its master. This is all too confusing. Hey, hey, let's solve these mysteries for later. Shouldn't that be save these mysteries for later? Right now, we have bigger problems to deal with. You're right. So, what's the plan? We must stop Garantina and, de and defeat Team Earth. Heh, <laughs> easier said than done. Why the world in the world are Angela and Brethren helping Team Earth? That I don't know. After we freed them from Team Earth, they somehow went on a rampage and destroyed their base. I'm barely awake at the moment, but I can remember that Angela wasn't itself at all. It's possible that they can still control those two dragons. There's no time to waste then. Let's make a move! Now! No, but if we rush on things, we will only achieve fa failure. We need to plan this carefully. Hmm. I think it's time to de test Deville's strength. Deville and I will distract Angelin and Brethren. Excuse me, but do we need Rikwaza's help on this? Princess Alice? Of course, we need all the help we can uh, possibly get. Understood. I'll go back to the castle, then awaken Rikwaza. But I need somebody to escort me. 
Can Tyler and I go with you? Very well then. Meet me outside the gates in Fruits Basket. Really? Cool. Thanks. Hey, she's a princess. At least I'll dress her properly. No, no, it's fine. I'd rather be treated like an ordinary person than someone with power. Easier said than done, princess. Okay, listen up. Here's the plan. While we're waiting for the princess to awaken Raquaza, we will gather outside the entrance to the va of the valley. Yeah. When Raquaza wakes up, princess, I need you to fly over the valley. That would be the signal for Jimmy to fly with Deville, and then both of you will distract Angelin and Brother Rena. Is that fine? It's no problem. No problem. Er, no problem. Okay, and then while Angelin and Brother Rena are distracted, we'll fly over to the floating castle and stop Team Earth. You're forgetting Garantina. Well, we'll deal with Garantina as well. Let's hurry then. No time to waste. That's true. The entire cutscene took six minutes. Well, let's fly. Uh, Guardia Town would be closest. I know what I'm doing. Now we can enter the fruit basket. Hello, you are Tyler, right? Well, considering we were just in the... Ah, oh, whatever. Your friend went ahead. I think his name is Kevin? I'll see you inside. The gate is shut, but the knights inside can open it. Enter the gate? Yes. Now there's a few items lying around the town, so I'll just grab them before going on. DM-47! Rest. Yeah, this is a long segment of running. One leaf stone! Too bad I don't need it anymore. There's something over there. One hyper potion! Oh, that could have been useful. I'm going to leave the berries alone. Considering I don't really use berries unless it's for, like, contests in the first place. An elixir! Again, I don't really use the... Wow, you're a rare sight. I want to consult this Pokedex for a moment. Okay, not even close. I just wanted to make sure I didn't, wasn't missing anything in that term. But it seems like it's a post-game thing. Oh, come on! Let's move. I kind of want to be careful in here because uh, I'll actually be attacked. Wow, this castle looks really cool. You think so, huh? Yes, of course. Wow, I can't believe I'm actually inside a real castle. 
Well, thank you. Oh, hello, Tyler. Hey, Tyler. What took you so long? Tyler, we're about to go meet and meet my father. I need to tell him about everything that's been happening in the region as of late. As of late? Oh, I'm sorry. That means lately. Oh, I see. Thanks, so. um... Are all the guys here talks like that? I think they talk properly English. Well, some are, but anyway... You're going to meet my father now. Please, behave yourselves. Will do, princess. Thank you. Well then, shall we go? Maybe. So, uh, Tyler, do you have any on idea on how to act in front of a king? No? Uh, I thought so. Well, here goes nothing then. Hey, wait up. Father. Alice, you have left a castle yet again. Bringing no guards to protect you. Father, I told you, I am strong enough to protect myself, but this isn't the time to take... Take... What? Take about that? Is that even a word sentence? Anyway. Father. Need not to explain. You and these outsiders are here, though, waking the sleeping Rekwaza, aren't you? Not? Yes. I'm so sorry, th Father. I know we shouldn't disturb Rekwaza's slumber, but... Not, need not to explain. Time is short, hence do what you must. Uh, thank you, Father. Dearest outsiders, I trust you will bring our region back to the peace it desires. Yes, sir. Your Highness. Okay, let's go. Right. Uh, after you, Princess. Follow me. Hey, Tyler. Let's go and follow her. There's no time to waste. Yeah, I, I agree with that one. What? I will not go away. You can't make me. Not very effective, that is. And I'll use strength this time. Ah. Go for the free hit. Again. Earthquake spam. That's what I was waiting for. And KO! One seventy six ruining. Oh, 
Go away! I'm with the princess! She's not in another castle! Process of such things, such as deep water. We're almost there. Something the matter, Princess? Well, this is why I asked for someone to escort me. I'm, I'm afraid of Rikaza. You're afraid of it? Are you afraid because it's scary looking? Silly? No, it's not that. It's just. It's just that I've always feared it ever since I was a child. Mm -hmm. So when you were small, you saw Rayquaza and you were scared of it ever since? Well, a childhood fear is a bit difficult to overcome, Princess. I know that. Could you... could you wake Rayquaza up for me? What? What? Why us? Come on, Princess. Let's wake Rayquaza up together. Consider this a, a chance, or the chance, for you to face your fear and overcome it. Oh yay, paraphrasing. <clears throat> so what do you say, Princess? We'll both be there for you. I, I can't do it. I just can't. I'm sorry. Hey, hey, hey. Don't cry now, Princess. Here. Kevin lends the Princess Alice his handkerchief. <laughs> uh, thanks. No problem. Hey, listen. We need you to wake in Rayquaza. If anything happens, Tyler and I will be there to protect you. Right, Tyler? Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Okay, I'll do it. You're right, Kevin. And thank you. Thank you, too, Tyler. Sure, no problem. Okay, let's go. Right. <sighs> I'm glad she's determined to face her fear. Right, Tyler? Yeah? Hey, hey, what's with that face? What, I'm blushing? Oh, nonsense. It's not like I like the princess or something. Er, uh, oh. Oh, okay. oh, whatever, Tyler. Now let's just go now and assist the princess. Okay, whatever. Let's follow him. At least there's nobody else to fight. That cave there. Is that where Rayquaza sleeps? Yes, but the ca this cave is a bit long. So it'll probably take us a few minutes to get to Rayquaza. I see. Okay, then. Let's go. Oh, fun caves. If 
friend is really confident, cheerful, and caring. I g uh, never mind, uh, let's make haste! <laughs> oh, and if you're wondering, behind the castle is a mountain. This mountain is where Rekwaza sleeps. But our ancestors didn't realize that, but this is where Rekwaza sleeps until the castle was finished and Rekwaza woke up. Rekwaza then created this cave and a huge hole in the castle. Our ancestors didn't bug f beg for mercy since they didn't know how Rekwaza was inside. Rekwaza just went back and continued his slumber. How anticlimactic. And now, we're gonna make it. Um, is that actually a good idea? Hey! Get back here! What? Master? Wait, what? Shaman? Where are you? Shaman. What? What's going on? Yo, Tyler! Don't lag behind! And hurry up, you slowpoke! I'm gonna need this. It didn't sound like it used a super propel. But I wanna go this way. Um. Way and push this boulder down. And then go up. Aha! I don't think you can get stuck on this one, so. Rocket smash, and somehow I got attacked. I'm glad there's like strong stuff in here, but you know. By the way, level 45. Apparently, trade is no longer required for that. Okay, this way? Yes. And then up, and then this way. Ha ha! That didn't take me long at all. Princess Alice? Princess, say something. I, uh, uh... Rayquaza, wake up! You actually had the shout? You can do it, princess. Why do I have to do this? Huh? Noises? Humans? What do you want? Uh, er, I, I mean, we... Speak up, human! Ah, I'm so sorry! Please forgive me! Give me. What? Huh? It has been a long time since I last talked to humans. You girl, you are Alice, are you not? Huh? Yes? Rayquaza, I am Alice. Princess Alice, you've grown beautifully. I still recall the day you came here as an innocent child. I fear that I may have struck fear into your heart. I apologize to give you this sort of fear. Rayquaza. What's this? I feel a very powerful darkness. Uh, yeah. That is why we came here. We thought we could use your help, Rayquaza. Hmm. Tell me, what has been happening during my slumber? Ah, uh, yes. We well, we'll tell you everything that has been happening is a little late. There she goes, as the late stuff again. We, we, we explain what happened recently. Garantina. It's been years since I last seen that Pokemon. Wait, you've met that Pokemon before? Indeed I have. Garantina fused with a Sand Slash and would have brought doom if it weren't for a Torchic, Chikorita, and a Pikachu. 
and we're able to stop Garantina and, br and brought peace to our region. It sounds like the same legend I used to hear from my mom in Guardia Town. It would seem, though, that the gap between our world and the Torn world has lessened, allowing Garantina to cross to our world. In order f for us to stop such a threat, I need the other three Dragon Gods' power. But unfortunately, Angelina and Brunetta are under Teen Earth's control. Maybe saying that name wrong. We got trouble. We got to trouble ourselves with the three mighty Pokemon. Yeah, the Veal and I against an Angelin brother, brotherina, and Guratina. Plus, I just recently awakened. What dumb luck! Hey, don't say that. We got a lot of people helping out too, you know. Yeah, he's right. If we team up and work together, we can win this. <laughs> you may be right. Very well then. On to the Dragon Castle. Teleportation! And this is where I'm going to end this episode. So tune in again for more Pokemon Ruby Destiny and Life of Guardians. As we climb the Dragon Mountain.